Listen, we are now live. Listen, that look cute, right? We live. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Your wigs, your wigs looking better. <laughs> it's not now. a wig. What this is? is my hair. It's a quick wig. <laughs> see that? See that? You got it going she on. <laughs> okay, all right. So today on Heaven Help Us, I have a special guest. Y'all all know him. Hell, I'm just trying to get his platform. He got over 200,000 viewers, so I'm trying to get some. Oh, well, excuse me. Get it right. 300. <laughs> but that's what you do. I ain't got but 50. Mm -hmm. Y'all ask me business questions. You know, YouTube and bring some people that got it. Mm -hmm. Q, how you get all the followers? I've been in the game for 10 years, though. But more overly, I talk good shit and people like it. Yeah, he you know, talks good shit. It's entertaining. I talk good shit. Hey, we about to talk some good I think so, too. Because, you know, you and I bump heads in this area a lot with these gender roles. The key to YouTubing and all of that is consistency. Yes. You've been doing this for 10 years. That's how you got all them followers. Yep. Anybody, you know what I mean? Talk the stuff, give the knowledge, and keep it going. Mm -hmm. But today we're talking about gender roles, and me and Quentin don't agree, okay? <laughs> so, Quentin, I saw a post on Instagram, mm -hmm. right? Of two homeless people laying on the ground, and um, the, the <laughs> this is funny said, already. The caption said, Stand by your man, both of y'all homeless. <laughs> okay, so how do you feel about that? Mm -mm, I, I'm not doing that. Like, you can do bad by yourself, and anybody who come into my situation is gonna have to help my situation. Um, you're gonna have to bring something to the table or, or get the hell away from the table, but I can do bad by myself. So I ain't trying to be missing, but do you do you are you in a relationship? No. So you feel qualified to get relationships? Actually, life? I do. You know why? Because I'm friends with Look at them, make up. Good God, no, I just got good skin. Oh, good skin. I I good skin. Water. A lot of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. I put the liquor down. I um heavily know. I look at the things you and your friends go through. And if that's what a relationship is, I don't want none of that mess. I don't want, I don't want nobody going on no vacation and and and, and seeing my significant other walking through the airport with somebody that ain't me. I don't want my house going through foreclosure. I don't want to be with nobody and we together and both working and having tax issues. I don't want okay, mud stop, shots stop, and stop, be stop, up. Stop. I don't. Stop I don't want. I don't want none of that. I don't want people. Stroked out mama in our house, uh bothering me, stirring me. Y'all cut this shit. Listen, listen, I ain't playing with you. Listen, I'm trying to do better. You you messing well, me listen, up. Well, listen, you you wanted you wanted followers, baby. So you we got to get that's how you get them. Up. You had to talk about, talk about people, mama. I done, I done <laughs> grew from that. I grew up. And you're the damn queen of talking about somebody, Not mama. Anymore. People can grow. They can change. But what I'm saying is, I don't want to be in no relationship with somebody, mama, all in our house. You know, in our bit. So no. Long story short, heavily, I'm not in a relationship by choice. To, to be, I, I, I think so. I think so. I don't know. The men don't holler at me, heavily. When, anyway. I, when I pump gas, they used to say, "Hey, Slim Goody," but they don't even say that no more. They they don't say nothing. In my opinion, I think men just as trifling as women now. Because I mean, men holler at me all the time. I don't know if I'm just sexy or is it that may bop that I'm riding in. Which you look rich. It? I mean, I'm riding in. I mean, the man just come up to me. You, you look rich. They look like I can take care of you. Yes, it, it, yes, and that's what the man's looking for these days. That whole foolishness about men coming in and taking care of everybody. Our men want helpmates now. I'm traditional. Somebody that's gonna put something on the mortgage. We gonna have, baby. We are not going have. But the question was, if you're homeless, oh. right? And your man is home. It's all about the situation. Because if we became, God forbid, God will knock on wood, we ain't going to never be homeless because I pay my bills and I pay them on time and I got a little savings so some shit go down. I'm good. But if we became home, I would stay with my man because we got too much built together and I love him unconditionally. Now, if I just met somebody, of course, right. I would not be with him. But I got unconditional love. But let me finish. The man that I know, the God-fearing man that I know, educated, hardworking, successful, all of these attributes, I'm hoping attributes. I'm hoping that we would never be in that situation. He wouldn't allow us to get in that situation. But if we did, I'd be laying on the ground right so when you're laying. So when it comes to two people being in a relationship, I have no sympathy for money problems, right? Because it's two of y'all. And I think for me, because I've been single for so long and I've had to hold down my entire life by myself, it's two of y'all. That's two damn brains. That's four legs. That's four arms. 
why is y'all homeless? Okay, I ain't trying to be messy or nothing, but okay, we're talking about our friends, okay? What about like Toya? They went through tax situations. I'm not even trying to be funny, mm -hmm. and she didn't get off her ass to help. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I ain't going to be messy because right. the people, I'm just saying, well, so so saying well, 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 I don't, we don't make the, well, you know, I got to say, I don't make the news. I just reported it was all over the blogs, and she got a shopping problem. Um, and she didn't get off her, but she probably got them in the damn tax problems, if you let me tell it. And see, here's my thing, since we talking about gender roles. If that man going to work and you sitting on your ass not doing nothing, the least you could be in there doing is balancing the books and making sure the bills and stuff is right and keeping track of the stuff, right? Well, I, I will say this in her defense. It's easy to get tax problems when you're making a lot of money. I'm telling you, like, it's like you trying to rob Peter to pay Paul. Mm -hmm. You trying to not pay. You trying to spend, but you got to spend on the right things that you can write mm -hmm. off computers, cell phones, mm -hmm. you know, cars, whatever, through the business. So you don't do your 401k, your cash savers, all that kind of stuff. So it's easy to get tax problems if you don't have a good account a good financial planner. It's easy to fall into that. So how long your tax problems was messed up? I ain't really never had no problems because... You were sitting at home balancing the books. I didn't balance the books. I paid somebody on. to do it, but we actually sit down monthly and go over. Well, see, that's but my thing. When, if one, going back to these gender roles, if I'm providing, I'm the one doing the blood, sweat, and tears, and you not working, you should be home figuring that part out. I Everybody is not good at everything. So it's some people that are smart. And I'm well, gonna apparently say neither smart. one of them was good at it. No, I think that somebody was issue. busy and the other person. But was, I'm just then saying, the other person was not busy. So some some people mind don't work like that with numbers. I mean, you're an accountant, so okay. you get that. Some people don't do that, but they have come and figured it out, mm -hmm. and they're so much better now. And mm -hmm. they have a beautiful home, which I am so the proud of. Nice. I mean, that closet that house, my shit up. That house, you know, my mama always told me never tear nobody down without extending the hand to lift them up. That house is the hope and the dream of the slave. They like Harriet that. Tubman is proud, mm. and Eugene worked hard. He does at man. all them hospitals. Because they said he had a job stop in it. South Georgia. Stop they it. said he stop, was working stop. in Berkeley. But you know what? That's a sign of a good man. Some men uh -huh. don't want their wives working. We can talk about but then, But then shouldn't she have gotten up and got a job like if it's going on like that no no because what do they sing about on these songs made to stay and all that i got my bag but i'm spinning yours all these songs are saying keep your ass at home <laughs> people love the life that toya lives you know what i'm saying we don't dr jackie dr simone all of us we don't it's just not in our nature to do that i think when sometimes when you get a higher education it's a drive that you already have inside you that you want to work, but plenty of women would love well, to live a lavish lifestyle. Outside of work. it being not their nature, it's also not an option. What you trying to say, Funky? Who over there paying for that stuff, Jackie Living? It damn sure ain't Curtis money. Curtis I'm not, with you. Curtis. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing what you, <laughs> no. Jackie, my friend, and I love her so much. No, I love her so much. The thing that the thing he was an ex basketball player, and he got a stash from that. Okay, leave it alone. Listen, no. so gender roles, okay? Well, well, that's what I want to talk about because considering how... They say you out of frame, baby. Can you come closer? Cause... We're trying to social distance in this, <laughs> but he say he been tested. I did see the test, yes. so he good. I was going to ask you, considering how firm your beliefs are in traditional gender roles and the women closest to you, their situations don't necessarily mirror that. Does that cause conflict? Sometimes when you express your opinions about men being providers, but Curtis over there living off Jackie money. Well, I mean, he ain't the only husband that don't work. Who else husband don't I work? Be hush. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Listen, my whole thing is, yes, I get what you're saying. When we look at shows like Married to Medicine and we look at ourselves, to me, what the stuff that's portrayed and I, the stuff that I know is true, like, you know, um, men cheating or, you know what I'm saying, the wife not helping or the men, you know, being mean to the wife and, you know, or, or beating their ass, quiet situation. It would make you feel Wait, like... my friend wasn't getting beat up. Okay. So it makes you feel like you would not want to be in a marriage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I feel like I, and my shit ain't perfect, but shit... You know what I'm saying? Well, the people want to know what what what, what you and daddy do be going through because you sure don't like to tell none of your shit. I, what y'all be over here fussing about? I promise you, the only thing we really fuss about are the children. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I will tell you this: Damon is very 
passive. He don't care. I could paint the house purple. He'd be like, okay, baby, that look good. If he say no, he meant that shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, he don't say no that often. Mm -hmm. So I digress. I don't even argue. It, it would have to be uh, something that I really, really want for mm -hmm. me to try to buck up and try to get it because he always get, most times I get my way. Mm -hmm. So if he say no, I'd be like, well, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But if we do buck up, it's a big buck up, man. And I know I got to be ready for it because if he said no, he meant that shit. Okay. So and that's how we survive. Keep it on target. When we talk about gender roles and finance, I hear a lot of women say, I'm not going half. I'm not paying no half. If I'm going to be paying half, that's a roommate. A, a man supposed to be a provider. He supposed to pay all the bills. My rebuttal to that is in 2020, rent and mortgage is too goddamn high for you to think you're going to sit on your educated ass and keep your check well, and go shopping while I'm out here working and you tootsie rolling with your money. Well, the interesting thing is this is Atlanta. This is the Mecca of black professionals here. And the women usually do better than the men. Mm -hmm. So it's almost unfair to even have that statement. Mm -hmm. We go have and have here. I think it should be a percentage of your income. Mm -hmm. However, you get good men. I ain't going to say good men. You get different kind of men like Dr. Eugene, mm -hmm. Dr. Damon, who feel like the man should pay the bills. Mm -hmm. Let him fucking pay him. Mm -hmm. I ain't mean to cuss, mm -hmm. but let him pay him. Let that man pay the bills. I feel like if you're going to contribute. My money goes to savings. My money goes to, you know, trips, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. David don't even know what I make, but that's good for us. Mm -hmm. That worked for us, but he the head of this damn household. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing my mama told me. She told me my mama's 88 years old. She'll be 89 this year. She said, when a woman don't have a job, the men act different. So that's her experience, but it always was instilled in my mind that I will always have a job. That I don't know if they would act different or not because I've always had it. And how do women act when a man don't have oh, a job? A damn you know, it's the same thing. As soon as they get mad, I don't know about Jackie House, but I'm just saying in general, if you get mad and you see a man, mm -hmm. a young man laying down, and I got to go to work, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to knock your ass out. And I know we talk about not hitting nobody, right. but if I'm going to work and I'm working hard and you sleep, oh, you're going to go get out and get something. You're going to go look at it. You're going to get out and take the key phrase from the house and put you outside. That's what my mom used to do with my brother. Mm -hmm. Put his ass out. It's she come back, she home. Come back <laughs> home. And he had no key. You got to go somewhere, at least looking for a job. But gender roles are not just based on. Finances. Finances. Right. We can talk about religion. Okay. Um, I firmly believe that the man is the household is the head of the household and he should lead us in our religion. So both of us are Christian. So we talk about it and he leads us in prayer. Okay. I mean, I think that's I can the way respect to go. that. I can respect that if that's you guys' uh faith. What do you do in a situation where two people have a different faith, or maybe the woman may be a bit more into the church than the man was? How does that then work? I think it's okay because I know so many situations. My mama, me, hell, I go to church with Jackie. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But we pray together. Why Jackie go to church with her husband? Well, I don't go to church with man. I ain't gonna speak on some shit. I can't. <laughs> they even feel like the Sundays we pray together, but he'd rather us go to church. And me and Jackie have fun in the church. Being <laughs> messy. <laughs> We classy ladies yeah, and we right. don't get messy at the church, but we have a good time. So it's our time to spend together. I, I hate to say it's at the church, but right. I mean, yeah. no, but that's but a great place together. to spend time. Um, so let's talk about household chores, right? Okay. So a lot of uh, I, you strike me as the type that you believe it's your job to cook and clean mm -hmm. in the house. So for me, and I tell my friends all the time, the reason why I am so I'm, I'm so flexible when it comes to gender roles is because in my house growing up because of my parents work schedule they were reversed my stepmom went to work at like 6 a.m in the morning she got off at 2 30. my dad went to work at girl that quick weave up there. <laughs> it, it's a, it, uh, he went to work at 3 30 and came home at 11 at night so when it came to doctor's appointments fixing lunches uh putting band-aids on knees parent teacher conferences and cooking my father did those things because it, the way the schedule shook out. And that for me is kind of what shaped my opinion on gender roles. Plus my stuff, I'm a cook. Right. So I'm of the belief that a lot of people end up getting in unhappy marriages or stuck trying to subscribe to roles that don't fit who they are. If you're the woman and you can't cook, damn it, you shouldn't be in there doing it. And if he can, what's wrong with him cooking? Well, I can cook some things. This is how it works in my household. And, and I, I'm saying that to say 
do what works for you because some people are better at certain things some people are good at finances some people are good at cooking cleaning my husband don't pick up his drawers my husband don't clean up nothing he don't cook nothing and if he do he make a whole fucking mess so i don't want him to cook and you don't feel like miss Seely picking up somebody damn drawers um well that's why we have a housekeeper coming so i feel like i work to pay that because these are my roles and i'm supposed to make sure the house is clean the food is cooked i make sure it's done i may not do it the only thing i'm liable to do is to have sex with my husband and everything else i can kind of diversify i can uh can divvy out to the other people to do. that don't feel a bit archaic to you no saying that it's my job to walk around and pick up my husband's draw no and cook mm -mm. It works for us. Um, my whole thing is um, I respect my husband. I love my husband. I have unconditional love for my husband. And he has firm in his mind what the men should do. Cut the grass, empty the garbage, that kind of stuff. And I'm supposed to, and it works for us. Right. I'm saying, but he don't do that either. He don't cut the grass. We got a lawn service. He don't empty the garbage. The people come in and take the garbage out or my boys. Right, so right, right. I don't clean up, but I do get up in the morning and I just pick up. You know what I'm saying? Right, I pick right, up right, and right. put it in the washing machine. But I think the jobs that I'm supposed to do, I take care of. I make sure it's done. I don't do it myself, but I make sure. So, it's done. so for me, I think the term, the 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 phrasing that I am most comfortable with is the person that's the best at it do it right. What I'm not comfortable with is you're the woman. It's your job to cook and clean. I'm the man. It's my job to take out the garbage and put the gas think in that the car. My husband was raised in a sense that he took out the garbage. He did the mom and his mother made his bed and that kind of, so that's who all he's he used saw. to. And that's all he saw. So to come in a situation and do that, he can't do it. Well. And let me ask you a question. So, I mean, he can learn. What is, what is with women and it's taking out the damn garbage? Like, I, mean, <laughs> I, I know some women, they just. I knew you talking about quad. Miss Quad. Miss Quad, I, I, I want to take I didn't say nothing about yes, the damn yes, quad. Yes, she did. I'm just saying, women. Quiet did complain about that man will take out that damn garbage. To the I, point in which is messing up your marriage. It, it, does it kill you to just walk the shit to the garage? It, it wouldn't kill me. I, I, I'm a person like if some shit need to be done, I'm going to do it. I feel like he should be getting the damn garbage. But if it ain't done because he's been at work and he got three jobs. Now, if he ain't working, uh -huh. that a situation. If he ain't working and I see some damn garbage, I'm going the hell off. So is Toya supposed to take the garbage out? Cause see, cause, cause see, that's when stuff started getting cluttery for me, right? Mm -hmm. When you ain't working, sitting home all day. But Toya has have to children. And and my mama had three of them and a job and no man. Your point you is. You gonna stop talking about Toya. Your, Toya's your, my friend. Your, I really I like her. Just, I like her. I don't have an issue with the evil. We talking about gender roles and situations and hers is a But you know what? Over there, all house, over the TV. Eugene do everything. If you go over there, I swear to God, I ain't even lying. He cooking. If the if the phone ring, he answered it. If the doorbell ring, he going to get it. Toya don't do shit. So like what kind nothing. of I, I would me as a man, that would not work for me. Um, well, it worked for him. He loved her, and me, he he in just, her dirty draw. I just, promise you, not he love her. That he, much beauty in the world. I think some people are like like me. I it's my pleasure to serve my husband. It's uh -huh. my pleasure. I don't mind doing it. You could say what you want to about it. You could say, hey, heavenly doing this that other. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Mm -hmm. I feel like he feels that way about his wife. Mm -hmm. it, he don't care. He, mm -hmm. If he want to do it for his wife, he want to see his wife happy. And I love that about Eugene. Mm -hmm. I always said, you say uh, Simone and Cecil are one of your favorite couples. I like Toy and. Mm -hmm. Just because how that man treat her, he treat her like a woman should be treated. Lavin luxury and laying down, y'all can talk all y'all want to about it. Plenty of women out there would love to have toys like that. That's oh, all they rap them. about. That's all they talk about. She sit up and she don't do shit. She, all she could mess up a day. You go over there, she spending 45 minutes picking out the color of her fingernail polish, but she happy. It, it would kill me to do that. But I'm saying she happy and the man want her to be happy. I mean, what is she going to do? She going to be a teacher? Yes, that's what she would I mean, okay, for. that man make good money. Okay, right. four, five hundred thousand. Okay, what's she gonna go do? Fifty, sixty thousand. I made my part. Then I gotta pay daycare, child care, aftercare, all that spend. She gotta drill up nice. You know, she a labels girl. So she would have to dress up that money gone. So it'd be a waste of freaking time for her to work, in my opinion. But it wouldn't have been when Uncle Sam was knocking at their damn door. Um, I'm not talking about people. People love to live <laughs> Toya's life. Um, they, they, I, sometimes I look at it, but then when I stayed home them 40 days with the COVID, I was like, bitch, I can't do, can't do it. I can't do it. I think it's something about somebody who got educated, went to school for a, a postgraduate education. It's a drive in us that we can't stay home. Jackie could never stay well, home. Well, and to being Dr. Heavenly is a large part of your identity. It, it's it's you being a dentist is a part of your identity. It's who you are. That's what I love to do. Right. I don't I don't know if it's who Would I am. Would you feel empty without it? 
I've never, you know, I've been, I've worked all my life since I was 14. Mm-hmm. I lied and I got a job. I've been working all my life. It's just in me to work. I've been, mm-hmm. that's how I was raised. I was, I was born to work. Mm-hmm. And without work, I feel like I'd probably be depressed. You're talking mm-hmm. about Kanye West and all of that. Mm-hmm. I'd probably be depressed. So what does it look like if daddy come home and say he unhappy, he finna quit his job? How much money we got saved? Cause that means a lot. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? If we got some money saved and put away, but something in me that knows that if I'm getting up to go to work every day and this nigga, I don't care how much we got, I'm gonna feel some kind of way. Uh-huh. I'm gonna feel some kind of way. So daddy's driven. So we don't have those problems. problems. We don't have those problems. Daddy is a man from the islands. It's some of them island men. Uh-huh. They come like this and they uh-huh. just want to work. Okay. That's what. That's what. So um, it works for us. So we can talk about the other relationships. Um, let's talk about who. Scott and Contessa, their situation works for me. That to me is the modern family. That is the man and the woman work. The only thing that got on my nerve about Scott and Contessa both, I don't understand people with means who complain about things like childcare and stuff like getting done around the house when you're rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I love Contessa. You rich. Go back and get Miss Renee with her messy drunk ass. Yeah, Miss Renee. Go Miss Renee was spilling no. all the tea. She was telling them <laughs> But Miss Renee had it going on right there. The house was cleaning. Sure. That homework was done. And them kids. But that's what work. That setup, that configuration would work for me. Best. I love Contessa with all my heart and soul. And she's the one of the best people I know. I'm just being for real. Mm-hmm. But that whole shit there, it's <laughs> hectic to me. It's always that some baby got to go to child. The baby got to go to um singing lessons. This baby over here going to basketball. This one, it's too much damn work. And rather than just put them in school where all the shit is right there and then they come home at six and all that's done, she running the kids. Here they Bible study. They doing a the lesson. This, that, the other. This tennis lesson over here. This, but it's three babies running. And and I, just, I don't know why they won't hire no nanny. Is they cheap? I think no, she ain't cheap because she spend the money on her. She wants to. She spent about twenty five thousand on, on a party for the kids. It's all about priorities and what people want. I don't understand contestants. It was just hard for me to feel any bit of sympathy for her when they were talking about, being so, about being so busy. And I'm like, you got money. Some people like to be busy. Contessa is going when she went to that program where she did um, her um, master's in public mm-hmm. health and got her triple board. I think she double triple right. boarded or something like that. Contessa is a classic overachiever. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I she try to do so much shit, but she, she wants she's driven, mm-hmm. and I love it too. That's mm-hmm. why. That's why. I, if you notice, I surround myself with people. driven women. With driven women. I mean, it's quad driven. You know, talk show host, uh, pharmaceutical rep, all of that. Uh, Jackie, you know, she drew a mm-hmm. book. Fifty Shades of Pink. Mm-hmm. Own practice, own build. I gotta mm-hmm. be around people that's doing some Toya. shit. You're wrong. See, oh, no, wait. I'm waiting for you to do the do the, do this I was, thing. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I love Toya, but me and her don't have a whole lot in common. That's probably why I don't talk to her as much. We don't have just being honest. We don't have much in common. Um, Simone is Simone is a doctor, but I don't think she's as driven as like Jackie. I don't think Simone be wanting to do too much. And speaking of, how are you and Simone doing these days? Um, I haven't really spoken to Simone. Um, she's. I, I don't know really why. Um, when we were in New York, I, we squashed everything. You know what I mean? I said some things. She said some things. Other people said some things. We apologized. Um, Do you think you hurt her to her core when you talked about her husband not working and all that type of stuff? And that even though a person said, I'm sorry, and we squashed it, that she still hurt? I'm trying to lead a husband out of it, but I think that if you're going to talk about my husband the way that he did and say he overreacted in certain situations and all that, that pissed me off because I didn't think my husband overreacted. And so maybe I overreacted. And if you're going to give your opinion, you can't be mad if I get mine. Mm-hmm. Like you say, if you Kick. give him your opinion, I mean, I ain't never even spoke on a husband. None of them, really. Mm-hmm. Well, I did ask that girl about her husband penis that time, but that was just, I was just asking. Baby, her. let's talk about that. Because <laughs> she was going to tear your ass up. out the frame. She was, she was. But that's okay. But what I'm saying is I never spoke on the husband. I always right. had opinions of the husband, but until they spoke on me and mine, you open the door. I, I am going to say this just as somebody who watches y'all, you know, for what I do for but a I wish I wouldn't have. I wish I would have, but I keep doing it. I miss y'all being the golden girls i really do it was it was something beautiful just to see three black female doctors 
um, all postmenopausal, just Fuck getting you, along. Fuck you. <laughs> I ain't cursing. You don't have to my third. They ain't gonna pay me now. You gonna make me work. Just saying, you know, be- just y'all going through hot flashes together and changes if together. You don't and notice. Marital problems together. Like, I, it, it, I liked it. If you don't know, um, I ain't gonna even get into age because it don't even matter. But we different ages. I, I, I ain't probably perimenopausal, but I'm not postmenopausal. If you know what that means. But I miss it too. I love Simone with all my heart. I do. But I ain't finna kiss her tail. I feel like I don't. I, I'm learning and I'm growing and I know my mouth is lethal, lethal just mm-hmm. like yours, mm-hmm. just like yours. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like, like you say, it's, but I'm wrong because you say if somebody says something about you, you can't tell me what to say back. But I, Damon tells me all the time, you have to let other people just just be quiet. Yeah. Do you not feel or did you at any point feel any guilt for the compromising situation it put Jackie in? No. You know why? Because it was a compromising situation that Simone was Mariah's friend. You know how Jackie feels about Mariah. I, mean, I shouldn't even say that, but. It didn't, it didn't come between their friendship. Mm-hmm. Me and Simone have nothing to do with Jackie and I. And I hate to say, I really hate to say, that's the only reason I can see that Simone is not speaking to Jackie. I'm trying to find something else because uh-huh. that seems very juvenile. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But she's not talking to Jackie. Still? I mean, if I they see each other in the hallway at the hospital, I'm thinking like they say that. hello. I, I don't, don't like it either. I don't either. like that, especially when people were really good but, friends and had a really good sisterhood. And, and I'm not going I'm not going to lie. From the outside looking in, it do look like you stepped in and messed up all of that. That's what it looks like. That may not be what it is, but it looks like what messed up that was you and your energy being introduced to their ecosystem. We were a threesome. Honestly, I ain't like Jackie ass in the beginning. I couldn't stand ass. I thought she was too stuck up. I'm like, bitch, my being bigger than yours. It ain't even all of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's how I felt about her. But then when I got to know her, I grew to love her, mm-hmm. right? And then Simone is the one that got me to like Jackie. So mm-hmm. now I miss our relationship. And you're right. If I did, I feel so bad about it. I promise to God, I'm going to do everything I can to make it right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because right is right wrong is wrong and when i love i love hard i really just do you know what i'm saying and mm-hmm. simone was my friend i mean we spend the night together i talk to her every day every and day I on the phone you know what i'm saying up. every day on the phone and i could say i don't care but i'd be lying you do i'd be lying so i know i gotta put more effort because i think it's my fucking mouth that got me in this trouble you know what i'm saying yeah. my mom i didn't have to say nothing you know what i'm saying right. she's gonna talk about every day i'm bad <laughs> 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 right Oh, crap, no, I ain't gonna cry. I be messing up my makeup. I ain't gonna cry. I should have not said anything. You don't know what people going through. You don't know. Damon told me I shouldn't have said That's anything. That's that Miami in us. That's that Miami. That's that. Fix it, friend. But we too damn old for this shit. Fix it, friend. I'm gonna fix it. Fix I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. But it bothers me that she's not speaking to Jackie, but Jackie didn't do nothing. That I could see. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would like to see what she comes up with other than Jackie's still friends with me. And we talked about this. She said, Heavenly, I understand. She said her husband was wrong. I don't even want to bring that up right, no more. Right. She said he was wrong. We were both wrong. We're going to squash it. And then it's just someone say she over shit and she don't she be not. over. She don't be over. But I can't tell her when to be over. Just like you can't tell me. Quad when to be over something or somebody else to be over something. So it's for me. I got to fix Like you say, I'll fix, fix, it. I'll fix it. But you know what? That, that that's beautiful because it still means there's something there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people think the opposite of, of love is hate. The true opposite of love is indifference. And the fact that you are shedding a tear says that there's still a, a spot in your heart. And I just hope God softens everybody's heart and that y'all can get the three musketeers back it. together because it was cool. We and and then I hope to I hope to um this hard and ass I hope, paper towel, you gonna give me some. I hope people husbands learn to stop being messy and being bitches and stay out the women business. You know, I never I just you know, I never knew what it meant when they was saying tell the men to stay out the women's business until the breakdown you. of y'all situation. I, I, now I see why it's important 
for the men to stay out the women's business. Because it's easier to get over it. If me and Simone had words, which we've had words before, mm -hmm. we'll talk about it, we'll laugh, go have a drink, and we good. Mm -hmm. But it's something about if you talk about my man, and I'm the same way, so I can't fault her with that. Mm -hmm. You talk about my man, I don't fuck with you no more. You lie on my man, Mariah? I don't but you know more. You know what I'm saying? She had the receipts, baby. Girl, she had. <laughs> she lied so good. She had me. Are you believe serious? Her. I'm, when she said the shit, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Betty, <laughs> you, Betty, and Betty, I believe her. her face, until, like, your face was like. I was like, you know that mean a man? So did you come home and like cuss and him out? I, I didn't asked curse him, him out, uh -oh. but I came back and asked him, and I knew by his response uh -huh. that he, because at that point we on TV, right? So I was like, if you did, you better let me know, because <laughs> you ain't gonna have no TV. <laughs> if this girl is so real, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. You gonna, we gonna have to get in front of this with a PR. You know what I'm saying? And understand what the happy you got the pictures, and she got some pictures on you. Let me know. Oh, they said I ain't did shit. Oh, I ain't did shit. And I know that. He's a man, so right. anything is possible. But I do know that if he's man enough, that if he did do it and we on TV mm -hmm. and she got receipts, how would she get them? Right. But he would have told me rather than let uh -huh. me see him on the damn reunion when I asked so, for him. So but I thought she was gonna make some shit up. But about anyway. about and you know we still we over here crying this crown got us going all over. <laughs> it ain't got the crown. I ain't but, even but, really had nothing. But about these gender roles and with daddy being a man. Why daddy can't go to the strip club sometime down the Like like all the men is doing it now. Like it's it's oh. I don't give a hell what all the men are doing. My man ain't going to strip club because I know too many people. I'm from Miami Rolex, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, all all of, that. of that, uh which got <laughs> onyx, all, all of that. that. Them are tour. Not all of them. <laughs> and I say this all the time. Not all of, but they will suck it. They, they will they will do what they need to do. Work ain't club. honest what it pays the bills. That's all I'm saying. And that's what I know. And so that's where we go where people have arguments by their background. You could say, hey, you know what? I know some people that go and cheat us. Cheat ain't no real club. They're just some like them, some people doing like that. <laughs> right. Lord, say that wrong. <laughs> right. And they'll be doing like that. No. Onyx like, don't that's start right. get it, get it. You right. have to be gay. <laughs> not to get a ride a risen by them. And if you I'm trying to not use the right words, right. but if you're, you're aroused and somebody go down, yeah. what you gonna do? Right. Say, bitch, stop. What you gonna do? Right. And then after she finished, she gonna say that'd be $40, please. <laughs> and then now we done. And now you double man, because he don't cheat and gave that bitch your money. And for all sex and sex, I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> the people be saying, oh, that ain't really sex. He just put no, no, no. And you know, some men feel like if they're out of the country, it ain't really cheating because we in Brazil and uh -huh. this, that, and the other. I don't like it. I don't like nobody looking at my man too hard. So and I don't care how it sounds. When his co workers or something call and yeah, say, Yeah, he got no co workers. He uh, worked for himself. Or his friends, college buddies, lying brothers. And they're like, Oh, we going for John bachelor party. I'm he's sure not, he's, he's not allowed to go to the. He goes. He goes. I don't like do it. Do you. Does he tell you or does no. he just have to just not tell you? Just he don't before? tell me anything. Okay. No, he don't tell me. I don't want to hear it because I, I get violent and. That's when you don't want to see that on Mary the Medicine when I get it violent. I'm just crazy and I just own it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm crazy. And he know it. Okay. He know. He know I start tearing shit up. You see that damn okay? Yeah. Don't do it. And y'all say, well, anyway, I'm just ask me another question. Let's change the subject. Become a pressure up. Uh, pressure <laughs> what is the people? Up. What the people in here saying? Oh, Lord, the people. I'm freaking upset. Simone called. Well, don't say that. Okay. Don't say that. Let's see. Let's just put them up here so we can. Y'all don't need a strip club in y'all marriage. Y'all might have an entanglement. See, yeah, <laughs> let's talk about this entanglement. Okay, we can talk about let's it. Let's talk about this. This man will put up my relationship book. Yes, yes. Dr. Heavenly. Yes. <laughs> the business of love. Don't you she, just love this software platform? I, like, love, I, like, it. I love it so easy. This simple, simple socialize say child cheat back. <laughs> I like living. It's a it's a double damn standard. Y'all see these cameras back here on my thing. I don't think y'all supposed to see them. But it's a double damn standard. Uh -huh. If I cheat, that man go either, I ain't gonna say beat my ass or kill me, uh -huh. but he's definitely gonna leave. I don't uh -huh. know what happened. Women will deal with that shit. Look at Jackie. Look at Quad. She stayed after he cheated. Uh, look at other people that y'all don't even know they cheated, but I know they cheated. Mm -hmm. I ain't spilling no tea. Mm -hmm. But people stay with their man. But well, would you stay if you was cheating? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm staying. I might burn the house down and he might have one leg or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But I probably go What you gonna do with a one legged man? I don't know, but I just love him. I mean, he gonna feel the repercussions of it. But I can't see me leaving. I mean, we got too much together and then even I'm talking about the love. I ain't even talking about the 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 the, the physical things. I'm talking about the love, the children. We got the children, even though they're almost grown, they need us and they need us together. Um, he needs me. He needs me. I mean, if you look at the things he's doing, I'm in the background putting the dots together. No, and I, I love that. And, and you can tell, especially with the businesses and the practices. I, I must say, I love how you use your platform to promote what daddy got going on, how y'all did the COVID testing. And you call the ladies don't use out the platform, there. So you're supposed to promote your stuff. No, you both, well, you'd be a damn fool not to with all these eyeballs on you. But I love what you just said about you know, what y'all built, the kids, so on and so forth. So with that being said, are you understanding of Jada and Will and what they doing and they entanglement? Because a lot of people say, like, why don't y'all just go damn get a divorce? Um, what are your thoughts on that? My thoughts are most men cheat. I never say all to anything. I'm a biology major. It's an exception. But every rule. Had Will cheated, it'd been a different situation. Mm -hmm. I think that Will is a different kind of dude, so it might be different than most straight men. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I think in that in that industry, and I don't feel like I'm in that industry, it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So they allow it to happen, but if publicly a man knows that his wife has been entered by another man, that's grounds for divorce, and I can't see them staying together. That's just my opinion. I don't know anything. I don't know them. I'm just saying the average black man, probably more, the highest average, most likely the man going to leave. From a feminist perspective, is what Jada did shameful or is it empowering? It's not empowering. I feel like I'm not going to say it's shameful. I, I'm going to say it was wrong, but the most wrong in it was her telling it. She should have just shut the hell up. I said that before. If he had came out, I, whatever the little dude name, Agostina, whatever the name is, baby, I didn't do this. <laughs> baby, why is you lying? Come here, baby. Come here. Come at you on. How much you want? Cause you gonna need to uh -huh, fuck up. Cause uh -huh. I'm not doing this uh -huh, with you today. Uh -huh. I don't care how many views we got on damn Facebook uh -huh. red table talk. We not putting this out here because my man can't handle it, and I know my man can't uh -huh. handle it. And he said it. He said he loved me to the moon and back. I was his wife when the world was developed. Uh -huh. But if you cheat, bitch, I can't stay. He said I'd rather. I don't even want to live in this world without you. I'd rather die than live without you. But if you cheat. <laughs> Your ass gone. Your ass is gone. That's what he said, and I think he meant this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I wouldn't do it ever. Right. But if I did, I'd die with that lie. I'd die with. I don't care what nobody. I ain't do it. It wasn't me. It could have saw me. I wouldn't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not me. It wasn't me. And then to the age, that's that's that. That was the thing that yeah. kind of made it a little funny too, because it was your child's friend. Your child. It was his child. I yeah, didn't know that. Age. You always come with the facts. Yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a celebrity research. blogger. You, oh, know, that's you, you, know, you know, it's my job to know what the hell going so on. So what the child had to say about it? Well, so let me give you these teas. Because I know people that know people. Okay. And I know people in, 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 in his camp. Okay. That, um, Don't spill too much shit. I'm trying to do this in such a way where it won't be, be revealed where I got it from. Nevertheless, the person that I got the tea from that knows them personally, uh, says that when being at the house, the kids would say things like, mommy, we like you when you're with August. You're really happy. You and August should be together. So like the kids, everybody was in on it. Look at Marvel, messy ass. Messy ass, Marvel. What would it take for you to get it? I would not get in an entanglement. My husband <laughs> is my first, my last, and, and my, my everything. And my only. And he will always be, I don't care what you heard, Marvel. <laughs> He's my first, my last, and my only. And ain't no way I would ever do that. I wouldn't do it, Marvell. Okay, you understand, baby. I love Marvell. I felt like she shouldn't have addressed it at all. I agree, boo. Um, I think she made it look like it took advantage of a failure mm -hmm. to thrive in. But you know what? You never know what's going on in mm -hmm. people's marriages. She might have revealed it because she don't want his ass no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. remember, when she was saying the um COVID, the um quarantine mm -hmm. was making her feel like she knew, got to know her husband, mm -hmm. and she didn't know him, and she didn't like who he was. Mm -hmm. So she might have revealed that. So you know, I still can you. I ain't never felt this. Well, yes, I have. You know, you've been with a dude and you trying to get rid of him, mm -hmm. and you don't like his ass no more, but he just won't go yeah, away. Mm -hmm. She might did that so he could leave, and he might not even lead in. So speaking of kids, mm -hmm. and I asked you earlier before the thing started, did you talk to Quad? Mm -hmm. And I know you saw the vlogs. Where, where the hell Quad found this whole baby at? 
You's a messy. Ex. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 it's I, a beautiful baby. I haven't seen the baby. Okay. And I haven't talked. I talked to Quan a week ago. Last week, I talked to her. She was in Memphis. Um, but what threw me was when it hit the blogs and the way it hit the blog. Like I she made this announcement about, about I'm, I'm having the baby. And I'm like, wait a minute, Quan, you ain't even got no man. So I was like, where's this baby coming from? And then I do know Quan was in Miami. I never forget. And this is self fulfilling prophecy. We were in Miami hanging out last year, and I had my little nephew Isaac with me. And Quan said, This time next year, I'm going to have a little girl. Now, mind you, she was already divorced. And I was like, You know, that's great. Oh, she wants kids. She wants kids. And then when Quan popped up with this damn baby, we're going to move this shit out the way. When she popped hell up with no. this baby, I was like, Quan, what in the hell? So I, you know, I called her. I was like, Um, I hadn't talked to her in a while. You know, you don't want to call people, just make it seem like you being messy and call them to get the tea. So, of course, I did the proverbial, you know, hey, how you doing? What's going on? I ain't talked to you in a while. Where you got this baby from? Have you talked to her about it? I have. Okay. Have, you, have. have you gone right there and seen the baby? I, I, well, it's COVID, so I don't feel it's appropriate to uh, go see the baby. Um, I feel like it was kind of shocker that, you know, I feel like me and Qua are cool. You know, we have our tits and tats or whatever, but to find out about the baby on the blog. I'm and that's like, where I was at. I was like, the same. Well, you, you know, ain't you told know, me that. Did you put it on the blog? You know, Qua is good for keeping a damn secret. Qua to Qua to keep a damn secret. and But then expect you to tell her all your tea and all your business. I mean, don't tell her all of it. Uh, I guess so. But it, it's a beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. I saw the little girl, beautiful baby. Um, I think it, but it's confusing how she got the baby. I don't know. She babysitting. She got custody. She adopted the baby. I don't know. The baby back and forth from Memphis and yeah. back. I don't. I don't know. So, so from my from my understanding, um, she's actually doing doing a, a beautiful thing. A right. family member um, has some, it, it's had some issues, mm -hmm. and you know she stepped in her and her mother um, to take care of the baby. Um, you know Qua, I know Qua. The thing that threw me about it, Qua is much like myself. Uh, I'm the girl about town. I like to be out. I like my drinks. I like to be fabulous. That's why I have no interest in those damn kids because they're going to slow me down. Um, you, you think Qua would be a good mom? I think she'd be an excellent mom, but I do think that's why she adopted the baby or got custody of the baby with her mama because she's still going to hang out. Qua <laughs> ain't finna sit her ass down. She's still going to go. I mean, not ho, but you know what I'm saying. She's going to be out in the streets. Now see, she going to be whoring. You almost got fought one time when you brought up that common mess before. Don't call my friend no whore. Okay, but nah, listen. Nah, she knew I was playing. Nah. She knew that up out of proportion. <laughs> but my whole thing is that uh, Qua, yeah, she'd be an excellent mom, but I think that's why she adopted that baby with her mama because she still want to be in the streets. Okay. She want to be in the street. She got a date. I think she want a man. I think it's going to be hard for Quad to find a man. You said that before. Why do you think Cause so? Because she's self-centered. You know who Quad is. You can sit up here and act cute if you want. Put your head on the shelf. <laughs> you know Quad is all about Quad. <laughs> Shit. You know that. You finna have me go cuss that all. Don't get cursed out. That's so, why I say this. As soon as this laugh goes. I off. love her, but it is what it is. Come mm. on now. You know what I'm saying? Quad going to take care of Quad. Quad going to take care of that baby, and that baby is going to change Quad and make her a better woman. And a better and a better mother and a better wife and a lover and a secretary working yeah, every yeah, day yeah, of the yeah, week. Yeah. So yeah, Miss mm. Quad, she's gonna be all right. I love Miss Quad, she's good. So who else did we leave out? Who did we talk about? We talked about everybody. So you ain't got no more friends. You know what, Doctor Heavenly? No. You look so, at you. Can you say you got the sexy legs? Can I? Can I tell you? you the sexy I, I did win the sexy card. Can, 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 can I be honest with you? And you're not gonna like this. Okay, go ahead. There is one person that I do have feelings for <laughs> and that does have feelings for me. Why well, ain't gonna like it? But he's married. I don't he's like it. somebody's husband. I don't, a and, woman's husband? Yeah. You run off of this shit. I, I didn't plan it. It I don't want to hear about this no more. Let's change the subject. I don't want to because I don't want to curse nobody out of you. And then y'all okay. know y'all gays be all over me and then everybody, you know, shut down my damn page and all of that. But listen, I think that it's good to, I don't know. Let me leave it alone. I ain't going to say shit about well, it. Y'all are just supposed to be having help us. I mean, I mean, help. Help. Leave him alone. He married. That's your help. Uh -huh. Leave him alone. He married. You shouldn't even let yourself to get involved. When you find out he's married, you should have left him. And now that you know, I don't care what your feelings are. You walk away from people you love all the time. Leave that man alone. He married. Wait, let me ask you this. Then. Oh, I know who we didn't talk about. Who that? Mariah. When the last time you seen her, girl? <laughs> yeah, me and Mariah. <laughs> Go back like babies in pastor. 
But let's see something right. I don't do her. With her lying ass. I don't, I don't do, do her. her. I don't do her. She goes, she goes too long. Mm-hmm. That's my thought. And, and she may say the same thing about me. Mm-hmm. Um, I respect her as the producer. And she did create the show. She did. I mm-hmm. saw her do it. I think they changed the show. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They changed the name because it was Marriage to Mac Wives or something mm-hmm. like that. And they changed the Marriage to Medicine. And I think she had all wives. And then they got, mm-hmm. you know, Jackie and Simone mm-hmm. or whatever, whatever. All that she did that she did it. Did she get a contract? Because the blog said I don't think so. The blog said they're not bringing it. Well, she back. said it at her mom's Oh, mouth. from the mailbox. She went to the no, mailbox. No, she said and after she... that somebody told me something. Now you, about, you know she did a whole like little you know, thing. You know what I'm gonna tell you that I didn't appreciate about what Mariah did. Don't hijack the Black Lives Matter movement and try to tie in this mess to I'm being mistreated because I'm black. They don't treat Lisa Vanderpump and the other woman like that. When the God honest truth, you and I both know it's not because you black, it's because you're a bitch and those people don't like you. That's the God honest fucking truth. The people, the people on the show, <laughs> the people on the show, the people the behind people the scenes at the show, the, the people who you produce with. Um, the people down in New York, they don't like I, I you. think that Mariah's a smart girl. I think she's smart, but I think she's so emotional and so much of a, a narcissist that it makes her go the wrong way. I think that it would be okay to use the Black Lives Matter, but it, 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 we all black. So if you're going to use that and we all black on this show, that's kind of like, but okay, but just, you're not the producer. You're not. It was just, she tried to hijack it and make it something that it wasn't. You made a bad damn deal. Okay, that's number one. The paperwork, right. you made, you, you the, made day, the paperwork can't and be right. That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, the paperwork can't be right. And then number two, you pissed them damn people off, and they didn't want to fucking work with you anymore. It they ain't got shit. It, it ain't got nothing to do with you being black. It ain't got nothing to do with you being mistreated. I mean, Toya don't even fuck with her. That's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? Because Mariah will be like the person that you gotta bow down to all the time. Listen, and I what like, is that? It's narcissism. What is that when you're in a friend group, but you have this innate desire to have to be the queen of the friend group? We need Dr. Imani. We need Dr. Imani. You were talking to her. You should have asked her ass what it is. Mm-hmm. But my whole thing is we all got it going on. We mm-hmm. all women. Ain't nobody going to buy down to you when you got the least out of everything. The mm-hmm. least money, the least kids, the least how, the least everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Education, business success. You got mm-hmm. the least out of everybody. But we supposed to buy down to you? Mm-hmm. We actually, um, let me, ooh, just laugh. Oh, but anyway. I just, I bow down to no one. I bow down to no one but God. Mm-hmm. I don't even bow down to my man. Come on now. How you going to tell me about this? That's, that's going to get me pissed well, anyway. But since we were moving talking on. Well, moving on. Let me know. Well, since we were talking about relationships, mm-hmm. though, okay, we got to take it back to relationships. This is a relationship right. show. We, we veered off track. And we critiqued everybody else's relationship. What is your take on her relationship with Aiden? I will say this. Despite how I feel about her personally, mm-hmm. I like their marriage. Mm-hmm. I I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I would agree with you. However, some of the stuff that Mariah's done that he actually participated in, I mm-hmm. thought that was what word do I want to use? I don't want to say no B word. I'm not going to say that. But I'm saying the stuff that he participated, he should have manned up a little bit more and said, hey, you know what? This is wrong. Even if you're doing it, I'm not going to participate. Mm-hmm. So that's why I go wrong. But I love their marriage. I think the man loved his wife, Dirty Draws. I think it's required of him to just do whatever she need him to do. And he's willing to do it. So, yeah, I love the dynamic. I think he's a hard worker. Um, I think he's a great physician. I know that for a fact that he's a great physician. Um. And he loves his wife. She kind of reminds me of Toya. I mean, she stays mm-hmm. home too. She it ain't like she out working. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? She gonna say, "Oh, that ain't no." Mm. I think that we probably made more money on this show than she has because she's been off three three years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, that's what I was told by the people. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, is this live? I'm saying, but anyway, I love their marriage though. I think that man love his wife. Their jaws. I really I do. do. I really and do. I can say I do love and respect the merging of the religions. The practicing the, but she says she's been Muslim 17 years now. She that's what somebody had told me. I don't know nothing about it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But I will say that she's a very smart girl. She's very creative. She's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, I do appreciate her, her her creating this platform. Mm-hmm. I do, but I think she messed it up for herself. Mm-hmm. Nobody else did. She did that, and I would not stand in no mess. You know what I'm saying? Just like so, people say, Well, why don't you stand with Mariah? Why would I stand in that mess? So let's 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 let let's do this since this is a relationship and since you won't help me with mine and, and me and this lady husband no i ain't gonna help you with that how how can we help how can we help our friend miss quad find a husband he couldn't man up balls maybe i got balls in her panties what does that mean what does that mean i don't know that gonna stop no she i I, I don't like to be 
bitch. I right. don't, but I gotta say the truth is true. She is creative, a bitch smart. You know what I'm saying? She's smart as hell. But no, but listen, how how what what do we need to do as friends to help Quad? Do what? What she need to do? Find a man. First of all, we gotta sit down and talk to Quad and tell her that the world does not revolve around her. Okay, first of all, you got to give to get. And then she probably going to be mad that I said this. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She mad always. She always mad. I cannot walk on eggshells around people to be your friend. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. So, but I love her. Mm -hmm. I think that she's solid. I think that if she says she's going to do something, she do she, it. I think she's she compassionate. Through. I do, certain way. But to find a man, you're going to have to learn, first of all, you I, need a man, I need a man with 800 credits, so he got to be fine. He got to make seven figures. He got to have a Benz. I like it big and long. He got to dress nice. I want him to have nice teeth, no kids, no baby mama drama. Uh, he got to be well traveled and have a passport. I prefer him to have a master's degree or better, have a couple Rolexes. I don't, I, he can have a dog, but I don't like cats. I don't like no man that wear purple shoes. I mean, I, I know I'm, I'm mocking her, but you know, that's kind of what quite gives. But I think that when she finds that right man, all that she gonna go out the window. When she finds the right man that can tame her, mm -hmm. and it's gonna have to be a strong man to tame that baby. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, I'm not saying Greg wasn't that, but it's gonna be a listen, come here. Mm -hmm. And when you love a man, you mm -hmm. gonna come, Ooh. you gonna come, you gonna come. So she need a strong man, mm -hmm. and he's out there for her. He's out there for her to make her to to put her where she needs. I ain't gonna say put her in a place, place, but put her ass in a place. That's like right. you know, Jill Scott. Jill Scott said one thing. It's funny. I'm a very strong personality. Mm -hmm. Jill Scott said, "If you can, I we've been on here, okay." But Jill Scott said, "If you can tell me what to do." Then tell me what to do. But if you go tell me what to do, at least pay a bill. Now you can't tell me what to do when you laying at home and we out uh -huh. here homeless. Now you uh -huh. tell me because the shit you tell me ain't working. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now so in order to be a leader, you gotta. You, I cannot follow a parked car. I cannot mm -hmm. follow something that ain't moving. So uh -huh. you gotta get your shit together before you're a leader. But quite a fine leader. She's beautiful. She is. She's smart. She's very articulate. I love the way that she can speak and she, her man, she can remember shit from like 1942. When you start arguing with her ass, she bring up some shit. Well, you say, well, I ain't never did. Yes, you did. You don't do nothing that way. Remember when we had that I'm like, oh my God, I can remember some shit, mm -hmm. can't she? But I love her. But yeah, she, um, but I can say she has some growing to do, but we all do. We all do. My mouth done got me in trouble with Simone. Toya, you know, she be all right. Maybe this baby will help soften her. In that Constantly. regard, and, and 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 I'm gonna go out on the limit. I'm gonna get cussed out by Quad for saying this. Mm -hmm. As Quad's friend, one of the things that I notice, I feel at times Quad lacks self awareness. That she's not aware of how her being, her energy, her actions affect the people around her i.e. the lateness, uh, walking into a room and making the situation about her Do you her think sometimes? she don't know that? I think she'd be late I, on purpose. Like, like to me, I've had times where I, I feel, and then maybe I'm wrong to say this, if I got to wait on your ass two hours and I got a whole fucking business, three cars, four dogs, and a husband I love, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't got none of that shit. You ought to be on time. That's what I, but... My hair might be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the outfit when she do cause she be clean. She be sharp. Mm -hmm. But when she get there, she, she fire. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. But, but children yeah. do have a way of reshaping people. And I'm talking like I, I, agree. Like I don't have one. I agree. But I do know that that baby may soften her Let me see what in you the self-awareness area. Oh, I look kind of cute, don't I? Yeah, so that quickly, sure that quickly, quickly, that quick weave look good. You came a long way. Mm -hmm. I know, but baby, listen, I thought like, my hair was cute. I baby, they used to like your head. No, used to you listen. used to like the other, and the people used to follow, but that's okay. I had my man, you know what I'm saying? We was in love. I was having more sex than you, maybe. Uh, I don't know, but I was getting it. But, um, quiet, yeah, quiet. Look, they say quiet is my whole life. Funky, you the top of my ass. Do not answer that. I love quiet's whole life. I love it, too. Would you babysit? Yeah, I babysit. Bring the baby over here. Now you're going to have to come get her. But I babysit. <laughs> Brian and Quad had the same person. Now, now I got to agree with that. Ooh. Mariah and Quad. They similar. Don't put it. That's true. You got to be true, true, true. Both of them I smart as hell. Both of them not aware of what they do. How do they not be aware? Like, I, I'm aware of my shit. I know what I do. Introspection is just a gift that not everybody has. I ain't changed, but I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Bridget's husband. 
Good love. Ooh, good love. love. <laughs> <laughs> Mac is fine. Ooh. Quiet is fake. Dude. No, no, no. She don't even know who she is anymore. Do you think Quad is fake? Cause like she's a different person from when I first met her. That Memphis girl, that don't think it'd be a real motherfucker don't get thing why. And to the person she's is now, and her voice has changed over the time. Her body has changed. It's, it's different a little bit. She different. I think we all create personas. I don't. I don't feel like I do. I don't feel like I do. Um, I think. Uh, to stream let's see okay we back i think are we live oh i think we still up oh we, we still got our two two oh yeah cause, oh yeah cause oh, the stream still okay, okay, okay we good we still in there okay see, smart but yeah i love miss quad i love everybody i don't hate the bitch mariah but i just feel like you know whatever i don't hate anyone i think i'm too grown for that yeah. um but um simone i love her you i want y'all to fix that I'm gonna do my best, but I can't. I can only do for me, and I'm sick of kissing people ass, and I ain't do. But okay, I'm gonna go right in. Okay, Jackie, gonna say on your part, right. cause Jackie apologized like nothing, and, and, and she ain't even did shit wrong. So if she could do that. No, 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 Going back to creating personas, okay. The people say Jackie ain't all what she appeared to be, and the people say behind the scenes, Jackie real nice, nasty, throw rocks and hide her hands. And you know, Mariah says she showed a slip. They say Jackie, she wearing pants. they say Jackie give you aka prim and proper fish, you know, proper up fish. front <laughs> or whatever, but behind the scenes, that Jackie cuss to get it down with the best of them. Jackie does not cuss. She uses words like biatch and Sam. She <laughs> mm -hmm. she has cuss word replacement words. Mm -hmm. Jackie, I love her with all my soul. I think she funny. She all about her brand, but that bitch can read. She can. Mm -hmm. And um, she give me some of my read. <laughs> she ain't gonna see it, but she get to me. You know, like, you know, you have to be smart to see that. But see, what I'm but you know, that's the shit. See, but see, that's what they accuse Jackie of. She, you just what you just said. You just Freudian slip. Ooh. She give me shit to say. Listen, but they, I they say her, that you do her that's, dirty work. That's the classy lady. But they say that her. you do her classes but, and she have a sick and but, but I, do her dirty I don't work. don't mind doing it though. It ain't mm -hmm. it's, it's a symbiotic relationship. <laughs> If you got some dirty work and you don't want to do it, but I would love to, to do, do it. it. It's that's, a great and, relationship. And that's why you always get in trouble. And that's why Simone don't like your ass. <laughs> Simone but loves me. And she gonna, she gonna, Simone she gonna some unblock crap. me. Can y'all put out there for Simone to unblock me? She has blocked me on Instagram. <laughs> Tell her to unblock me. I think I'm blocked on the phone. I ain't called her here lately, but I think I'm blocked. She had a shirt on that say I block a bitch and she was talking Talk about, about me. You. I do that. I ain't gonna make it back. Let me me, but can y'all please tell her to unblock me? I'm going go over there. You think I should go to her office? Her office yeah. across the street from Mac. What you think if I just walk up in there? Just go over there. With, <laughs> take us some crab legs. Listen, <laughs> black people love crab legs, and crab legs Ooh, fix everything. That's what it do. It do because that's forty dollars a day. Okay. So, so, and that, that's like, some crab that's like buying somebody sex. So okay. like you bought me a crab leg, or you know, quiet as it's kept. Have Jackie facilitate it. Jackie ain't gonna facilitate it. But, she, need, but she needs to. Okay, now you fucking up. Okay? No, I'm not. She needs to. She's at the center of it. it, it one way or another. So she, what's wrong with me facilitating it? Because if I'm mad with you, I don't want to hear shit she from mad you. With and, Jackie and you blocked. So you can't even. So my Jackie don't even know well, she blocked because she ain't even reached well, out. At least I reached <laughs> out. You know I'm blocked. Jackie don't even know. That's all right. But anyway, we're going we gonna to get it right. We're going to work it out. Y'all don't talk about my friend. She is not a bitch. She called me a bitch. Oh, but you love her. That, yeah, you mm -hmm. might be right. I, she's a bitch, but I love her. Right. Um, What's it say? 
barbecue, dump that married man, you better than that. Okay. You're right. And I know that. And I do know that. Dr. Jackie. Dr. Jackie is a classy lady about whatever. She funny as hell. And me and her think the same thing. I just say it. I That's just, you know, you know, and when I, we and when we filming, I know we filming, we filming. She look at me and she just do like this. You know what I would like though? I would from Dr. Jackie. I would just like to get to know her more intimately. It's I feel like all we get from the media perspective. Do you is feel the like you get to know me intimately? Yes, yes, yes. You give us rawness, realness. I, I think that how Jackie grew up, let's talk about people's background. She went to school in Mississippi. Uh -huh. You can't, you taught as a black woman, you know, you can't be but this. This is all you can put out there in the right. world. And your brand means this. And if you're a doctor, you cannot. You know, I went to fam. This is right. Girl. I went to Meharry. You know what I'm saying? You. I'm saying I'm going to strike, 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 strike. You. I think it's all about the background. Jackie right. is a classy lady. She just is. She loves the Lord. She does. But her her, her brand and her, that AKA in her, uh -huh. I'm just going to put it because that makes you understand, uh -huh. right? She's not going to give you that. She's not going to give you that. And she not gonna try to. Now she right. done slipped up sometimes. Right. You're fucking with me, you're playing right. with me. Right. But um, she not gonna get that to you. And I respect I, that. I mean, I, she respects I get me it. for who I am, and I respect her for who she is. I get it, but you know it's so funny. And, 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 and no shade, being a celebrity blogger, watching the, the shows and that type of stuff. I'm not gonna lie, because Jackie came off so clean and crisp and so proper. People actually found a level of vindication when she went through that cheating scandal with that Curtis. Before, but I, don't, I didn't like because it. it was like she skated through for so long, being so clean and no drama me. free. You said no that drama. shit about me, but I ain't skated nothing. It, I went through a lot on this show. I mean, I and it I've was self imposed. <laughs> she didn't impose that on so, herself. You so, right. and, and she did it, and so it, it's not. It's like. Granted, nobody wishes infidelity on anybody, but it left people feeling like, yes, we finally got some drama out of her. We got something. And I hate that. I hate it. I didn't like it. You and I love my saying? friend. But and I saw my friend cry. And she loved her man. That's one of the things I will say. She loved her man. And mm -hmm. I respect it. And I love her for it. And I wish I would have never said nothing about Simone and her people. But I, 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 you know what? You can't change the past. No, you can only move forward, and I'm gonna be the bigger person. But I think we've been on your video, hour. I Come. think in this video, Simone will see your heart, and I definitely. You think she gonna watch? She blocked me. I'm the, not the, even the, blocked. The, the, the Twitter people gonna send her the snippet. She gonna and, block them too. Though. And, I don't fuck with no, she gonna, gonna block I'm a, too. Well, I'm gonna go around there and take her some crab legs. No, take her some crab legs and, then, and see if I could talk to her. See Try to get Cecil to get me pre-approved for a house. See them. Or some second Happy property or something. Get house, okay. And then. All right, so we gonna close out. Did we talk about everybody? We did. Quad is beautiful. I love her. Let's fix and it. Found a baby. Let's fix it. She done found a baby. Who she, you know, uh Toya. We love her lifestyle. Love How her whatever lifestyle. works for her works for her. Her husband loves her dearly. And she actually, take they the are one of my stuff. favorite couples. Okay. They are one of my favorite couples. Um Contessa and Scott, they got they it going on, but they shit is But they, I think they, some people like the hecticness. They got to because they yeah. can change it overnight if they yeah. wanted to. Uh, Heavenly and Damon, they beautiful. Oh, they so beautiful, mm -hmm. ain't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Damon be in the script club, all up in honest. <laughs> he be all, mm -hmm. he be all up in honest and the cheese. I be to fight them hoes. <laughs> I'm gonna get whipped up. But anyway, and who else did we leave at? We got Jack everybody. And Curtis, Jackie with Jackie. Got love yeah. Yeah. Scott. Scott Toya, yeah, everybody. Everybody. All right. So I think we wrapped it up. Gender roles. Hopefully, y'all got some of y'all questions answered. If y'all didn't, let me know. Make sure y'all like the channel. Subscribe. I'm trying to get some more followers. Somebody said I have a 42 followers. Oh, girl. Now you got more of this messy ass video we just did gonna get you a whole Give me some bunch. followers, subscribe. So when we come on and we need to do this more. Often, we need to watch, you know, the COVID. Remember, we, we had, had a good, to get tested every we, week. We, we had, had a good did. rhythm. Remember, we did. It was the COVID that threw us off. But we can do it virtually. And we do, but the in person is better. always Absolutely. better. And then it just happened to work out. I I got a dental appointment. Y'all keep talking about my missing side. Uh I'm in Atlanta because heavenly was. Fixing my missing side teeth. Y'all bitches gonna stop reading me, okay? Tell them not to have me. The, screw, the screws are already in. COVID about, messed us up. We talked about the Louis Vuitton purse. <laughs> in your Louis Vuitton, get your tax side too fixed. But at any rate, I love you, Queen Q, you and more. I thank you so much for doing this with thank me. And we gotta do me. so many more because I need all of your followers, okay? Yeah, you'll get them. All right. And uh, we're gonna have a good night. Y'all got some questions. Make sure y'all like. And if y'all don't agree with us, y'all got some questions or comments. 
put them in the comment box for me and, and we'll, we'll see y'all next time, time. we're gonna have to commit to doing this at least once a week this was fun okay it was a lot of fun <laughs> y'all have a good night okay i'll talk to y'all soon bye bye bye, bye. all right what you think boo? China, you know,